okay so like I say we are on private property so if you're planning on coming here please do get permission um, there's a little farmhouse or modern sort of house called Norskin that's where we knocked on the lady there's really kind and yeah so make sure you knock on the door first okay this battery is one of a number of heavy anti-aircraft HAA batteries built at the outbreak of the Second World War the design was very similar with concrete shell lockers around a central gun pit and other related semi-sunken bunkers. Most batteries of this type have been demolished, but good remaining examples can be found in Dover, Portland and at Maker Heights near Plymouth. This battery is located on farmland near East Tilbury. It was built in 1939 and originally mounted with four 3.7 inch guns then later upgraded to four 4.5 inch guns. Although complete, the site is now very overgrown and some of the bunkers are used as horse stables. We've got another gun pit like the one we've just shown you and just about make it out. We're going to try and find a better way in and have a look round. We've got this uh, concrete hard standing path here which I'm guessing is probably original. Yeah, it goes around, so I reckon this path would have served all of the, the gun pits and stuff on the battery. Uh, let's see. Yes, yeah, so that one's there. The other one that we just seen was over there. Let's follow this f uh, little path around and see where it takes us. Uh, it's, it's quite a big site, and out of the three... Um, installations here at East Tilbury because of course you've got Coal House Fault, East Tilbury Gun Battery we've explored both of those and this being Bowwaters Farm uh, World War II anti-aircraft battery this was the only one that actually fired a shot in anger so it's, it's quite important right some barbed wire fencing but I can see a structure through here let's see if we can get in here look at this found a ladder going down into there we've got all of this through there it's quite a bit on this one to have a look at so um <laughs> kind of wish i bought the head torch now okay well i've got down this uh, ladder original ladder there's candice she's not coming down nope. so uh we're in this room here it's a little bit flooded i think yeah now apologies I haven't got my uh, head torch with me or anything because I didn't expect to find all of this but um, I've just got normal trainers on as well no waders or anything the floor is a little bit flooded but there's that plinth in the middle I'm going to try and get to yep wow This is amazing. Jesus. I don't really know what I'm looking at. I mean, these plinths, I'm guessing, would have housed maybe generators and stuff, like a decoy bunker would have had. But other than that, I can't really tell you any more. hole down there and there's that platform there and these brackets wow what an absolute oh, nearly what an absolute find actually it's not too deep whoa and look at that that goes down through there that looks like some kind of chimney that goes out and up through there Look, and you can see it continuing up through there so it's like an air pipe or something that looks like a wooden hatch or something that opens out this is what's uh, spiked my interest though what is that all about there's a little ladder going down there really I need to get my waders on if I'm going to go and have a look at that although tempting to try and get inside a lot of cave spiders in there <laughs> I could probably find uh, 
the way into that, if I go back up the ladder and climb over the top of this, this is incredible. Wow. I didn't expect to see this. I thought it was just a few gun pits and some ammo sheds. Huh? There's, there's a lot more to it, yeah, Candice is saying there's, I mean, this is basically like a sub-level room, you know, underground. But yeah, I just, I wish I knew what I was looking at, that's the only problem. Yeah. Right, anyways, let's, let's get back up to ground level. Okay, so we've, we've climbed up out the ladder, as you saw, up onto the roof of that sub-level building, and we've, we've come out to even more cool stuff. We've got a little pit down there, which I think is an air shaft, some steps. Yeah, another air shaft, and then look at that massive gun pit. Wow. You see all the ammunition lockers around the side there. That looks like some original metal in the pit there. This is cool. Some original metal stuff there. You sure you don't want to come up and have a look? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna carefully make my way down the steps. I've managed to get Candice up on the roof here as well. And we're going down the steps towards the gun pit. original metal there ah. right and there is that tunnel that goes from inside that room and if I show you there's a little ladder there so that comes up there but that tunnel keeps on going so it keeps going down and obviously comes out I don't know it must come out in the gun pit, let's have a look, let's try and get up on there and see, but look, you can see the, the metal around the edge of the concrete circle, so that's obviously where it would have, the gun would have pivoted. Ah, you found a tunnel, right, let's, let's have a look. Yeah, I definitely need the waders, I mean, I've only got my normal trainers on at the moment. Yeah, there's the tunnel, so it comes up there, so that goes all the way through there and into that main building. Yeah, look, this is these original bits of metal here. That's pretty cool, that's, that's, that water looks quite deep, that's sat in there a while, so. And the only way of getting out of there would be going through that tunnel into that room. <laughs> okay, so we've just left that other really cool gun pit, and guess what, I think we found ourselves another one. So they've put barbed wire up here. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it's, it's all private property anyway, but it's mainly to stop Horsies. horses from falling down there and stuff. So, this one's, oh, that one's quite flooded though. There's a lot of rubbish down there. But I will probably climb down the ladder and just sort of hover and try and show you inside. And yeah, there's the, the gun pit again over the other side. So it's probably gonna be ah, the same design as as the other one, yeah, but we're thorough, we're going to have a look. Right, watch out, it's barbed wire here. Okay, up on the roof of sort of that little sub-level building again of this second pit. And once again, we've got, well, the steps here are really overgrown. There's no way you're getting down to that unless uh, I can get down to this bit. Oh. So there you go, that's a close up of like the ammunition lockers that would have uh, fed the gun. Don't know if that metal, those metal drums are original or not, probably not. Yeah, there's even some like original bits of wood on the, uh, the ammunition lockers. So it would have had like, I suppose, wooden doors on them. Um, there you can see down there is the tunnel obviously would have led down into the thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to get down into this one. Just because it you can't really get out through the staircase that runs through there. That's just it's too overgrown. 
but you've sort of seen what the other one looked like it's basically a, a mirror image of it there's some original metal I can see inside the gun pit uh, could be some metal wiring or something there it's all coiled up this is cool though yeah I mean this one's probably in better condition it's just more overgrown okay so I'm down the ladder of this second gun pit I mean the doors are in a lot better condition sorry it's focusing auto focusing you're not going to see too much and it's pretty pitch black in there and it's it's flooded but if I had my waders I'd be fine I'd get in there no problem but although they've got a hole in them at the moment <laughs> so uh, yeah you need a good set of waders if you're doing this kind of thing I reckon well these mm, don't just they just don't cut it because you don't know how deep stuff's going to be but Oh yeah, just ask for permission. Yeah, once again, ask for permission. Candice's wise words, always ask for permission, definitely. Yeah, because you know, you've got to go through people's like stables and stuff and yeah, it's fine. But I feel a lot better knowing that we've got permission, you know, we can just have a look around and yeah. It's all good though, yeah, you can see where the hinges would have been for a massive door or double doors. They've long since gone, but yeah, apologies, you're not really seeing there, but it looks like it's exactly the same as the other one, so refer to that if you want to have a butcher's. Okay, I'm unsure if this is original, but if you see this, the remains of this fence, these concrete pillars in front of the camera, I don't know if that is part of the original fence of the heavy anti-aircraft gun battery here at Bowwaters. I'm not sure, but yeah, see we're sort of right on the outer limits of the farm. You can see the farms over there. Okay, guess what? We found ourselves another gun pit. So come round. sorry. Come round. Yeah, we've um Oh that's really That's really overgrown that one. And obviously, it's the same sort of design again, so you just walk along the top of the, yeah, the ammunition lockers. Right. So, yeah, we can see the entrance shaft into the building. So that must be over that way somewhere. I'm going to try and get down here. So as you can see, the gun pits, uh, so the gun pit, the, the magazine lockers have, have survived pretty well. We've got some of this original wood here as well. But the, the gun pit itself is once again pretty overgrown. The whole, like that shaft in the middle is down there. And then you can just see there, that's where the access shaft going out into the main building would have been. So this is once again another, it's a third gun pit we would have found so these would have housed I say massive anti-aircraft guns so it's a heavy anti-aircraft battery this so we've we've got three of them so far I mean they're getting more and more overgrown so less and less likely to uh, find, the find the others or be able to explore them properly but good thing we found the other two though because you know we sort of at least we could sort of see what what they kind of would have looked like and stuff as well so Okay, we're back out near the start now, and this was the first structure we found. Well, this second one here is probably exactly the same. And yeah, you've got these concrete paths linking everything up, but it's so heavily overgrown with like, you know, thick brambles that are like that thick. They're like swords. Um, we're just not getting through through any more of it I don't think so but we've seen quite a lot I mean you look on Google Earth and you can barely see anything um, because because it's so overgrown all of this just looks like thick woodland I mean it looks like there's something over there but and then ahead of us here that was our first structure of course that's not overgrown so you can see that from Google Earth and then the rest is just thick looks like dense forest behind Candice and that's that's where all the gun pits are. 
overall it's been pretty good we did not expect to find this much i thought it was going to be a couple of these and some ammunition stores and some outbuildings that were now stables didn't expect to find those rooms and you know sub-level rooms and stuff and gun pits things like that that's, that's incredible yeah so walking back through the farm and we reckon this building here is also from the gun battery because well it's the same sort of design and architecture and I reckon it could have been maybe a small guard house because you've got this gate here, the present gate and these big pillars of course would have been part of the the fence going around the gun battery and these are bigger and of course you probably can't see them, they've got the original hinges on as well so it would have had bigger gates across yeah. here um, that's definitely the fence and we can see that fence in the distance all the way around I mean this this battery would have been massive you know we've only seen probably a quarter of it if that so um, of course you know it's now a, a working farm and stuff now and so they've had to get rid of bits and pieces but yeah I reckon that's that's definitely um, a guard house of some sort I mean look it's got the original hinges there and then they put that door on definitely more of that fence there and yeah this I would have thought the main entrance to it the site's original military code name was TN13 Bucklands the site included eight concrete emplacements in two groups with their connecting roads and vehicle parks magazine and command post battery forms two groups of anti-aircraft artillery. The earlier group comprises four octagonal emplacements of concrete covered by asphalt which measure some 16 metres across. Two entrances are located on opposite sides of the emplacements and earth banks protect their outer sides. Inside the emplacements the ten bolts which fix the guns to the ground survive as do the ammunition lockers against the walls. Between the middle two emplacements is a rectangular magazine building some 12 metres long with five compartments for shells with different fuses. At the rear of the group is a larger building which formed a command post and which included height and range finding equipment although this no longer survives. This group housed 4.5 inch or 150mm guns from mid 1940 to 1944. In the east is a second group of four emplacements. These examples comprising a deep circular pit lined with concrete, again measuring some 16 metres across, with an adjoining sunken engine room to the west or southwest. A gun turret which no longer survives capped the circular pit and housed a 5.25 inch or 133 millimetre gun. This group superseded the 4.5 inch guns in 1944 and continued in use until after the war. The HAA battery at Bow Waters Farm exhibits through its surviving remains the development of an anti-aircraft battery from the early months of the Second World War until the stand down of anti-aircraft artillery in 1955. The example at Bow Waters Farm is the last surviving example of such batteries in this area of Essex. It forms the latest part of a series of important defensive installations at Coal House Point which illustrate the development of coastal defences from the Tudor period to the mid 20th century. We've had a, a look round Bow Waters Farm heavy anti-aircraft gun battery from World War II here at East Tilbury in Essex. So anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much for watching and thanks for your continued support. Um, it's good to get out and do a little um, historical exploration again. I do like them and uh, they sure are exciting. Uh, as I say, we found a lot more than we planned, so that was really good. Anyways, yeah, cheers. Take care of yourselves, look after each other. See you again soon, everyone. Bye. Bye.